Welcome everyone. Let's go ahead and use the laws of logarithms to answer these two problems. For the first one, we're going to be expanding it. And for the second one, we're going to condense and put it into a single logarithm. But before that, let's go ahead and write down the laws. So we have three laws of logarithms. One, if you have, let's say, log base A of x plus log base A of y, then that is simply log base A of x times y. And it works in the other direction as well. If you have a product inside a logarithm, you can expand it into sums of logarithms. Second, we have, if you have log base A of x minus log base A of y, that can be written as log base A of x over y. So if you have a quotient inside a logarithm, you can also write them into differences this way. And the last laws we have is if you have log base A of x to the power some c, then this can be written as c times the logarithm of A of x. So these can also be written using ln, just like you can see it in our first example. So let me just show you the first one. So if you wanna rewrite them using base e, then we simply write that as ln. So if you have ln of x times y, you can also write that as ln of x plus ln of y. So these two are equivalent and same thing you can do with this one and that one. So knowing these, now let's go ahead and I'll try to simplify the first example here. So we want to expand by using the laws. So I see I have something on top over something else on the bottom. So I'm gonna separate them into two logarithms differences. This will be the ln of x squared times x minus five minus ln of the bottom piece, which is square root of x minus nine. And now here, I notice there is a term here times another term. So I can separate them into logarithms of two sums. So this will be the ln of x squared plus ln of x minus five. And keep rewriting the second one. Now here, this, you can write it as a power. So square root can be written as ln of x minus nine to the power one half. Now this one right here, you can rewrite it again. That two, I can also uh, put it in the front. So using the third law we saw up here. So this one can be written as two ln of x plus, there's nothing to do with this one. So that's already expanded completely ln of x minus five, that's the input minus, now here this can come on the front, just like the first term, we will have one half times ln of x minus nine. And now this is completely expanded. So we're able to expand by simply using these laws right here. Now let's go ahead and try this problem. So for this one, we are going to be combining it into a single logarithm. So we're doing uh, backwards now. So if I see a number in front of my logarithms, I'm gonna represent them as an exponent. So those two will represent it as exponent. You'll have log of x to the fourth power, second one plus log of x minus three to the one half power. And the last one just rewrite, log of five minus three x squared. And now I see there is a sum between two logarithms. So that will turn into a product. This is log of x squared times x minus three to the power of half. Minus, rewrite the last term, log of five minus three x squared. And now here I see there is a difference between two logarithms. So I'm gonna join them by using quotient. So this is log of the top will be the first term, x squared, x minus three to the one half, and the bottom will be the second term, will be five minus three x squared, like that. So this is a good answer. Now, if you like, you can also rewrite the one half power as a radical. 
So you can write this as also log of x squared times square root of x minus three all over five minus three x squared. So that will be another way we can write the same answer. I hope this helps.